A violent fight at Brashear High School, ending with one student in the hospital, another facing felony charges. And teachers in Pittsburgh Public Schools say scenes like this in their hallways are not uncommon lately. So what is the district doing to make sure kids and staff have a safe learning environment? KDK investigator Andy Sheehan says it's a debate on whether there's too much discipline or not enough. Andy. Well, the district is indicating it's working on ways to address these behaviors and restore order, but the teachers and staff say they need action now. A fatal shooting outside of Oliver Citywide Academy. A student hospitalized after another stomped on his head at Brashear. A teacher choked at Carrick High School. These incidents have raised alarm that teachers and principals are no longer in control. Students know that they will not uh, be hit with any consequences. In a statement, Acting Superintendent Dr. Wayne Walters rejected the notion that Pittsburgh public schools are violent. Quote, the tragedies of last week are not who we are and certainly not representative of our district. Walters indicated the district is working on long-term solutions, but teacher union president Nina Esposito Viscaitis is calling for the restoration of basic discipline. And some of the language we have heard of, some of the disrespect to teachers has been absolutely horrifying. Teachers want to be able to teach in a safe environment. But in November, the school board voted to keep a ban on suspensions for repeated low-level offenders in place restricting principals from levying these and other disciplines on problem students. After 18 months of children sitting at home and dealing with whatever was going on in their homes, can we sit here and say the solution is, temporarily or not, the solution is kicking them out? Opponents of the ban said the board had shirked its duty. We are telling our parents and guardians that we do not care that your child may not be safe in school. The union is asking the board with new members to take the measure up again and lift the ban on these disciplines. Long range, the union would like to hire more social workers and counselors to intercede with problem students, but rejects the push from some board members to begin phasing out school police, saying they are needed now more than ever. They have excellent, excellent uh, relationships with our students. They know our students. They, they work well with our students. Now, in his statement, Dr. Walters said the district is trying to deal with the underlying problems of students returning to school during the pandemic, but his statement was light on the details. We will let you know what those measures are as they emerge. Reporting live at the Board of Education in Oakland, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.